I'm Carrie from the Saranac Clarksville District Library and we are going to make um, magazine strip art as part of our 2020-2021 fall and winter adult programming. Um, you can see a sample of the magazine strip art uh, that I made at home and we are making the heart shape um, today. So in your kit you should have um, come with a with plaque, um, a heart shape on cardstock, a foam brush, Mod Podge, tacky glue, and either a ma old magazine or some magazine pages that we're going to cut into strips. And um, the frame is optional, um, and we'll talk about that in a later step of our project. So our first step is at home, you should have prepared your wood plaque um, according to the instructions in your kit, how you would prefer. Um, I painted this one with um, white acrylic paint and my sample here, I painted with pink acrylic paint. And it was very easy and fast. I just used it dry and brush brushed it on with a foam brush. But you could stain these, leave them plain or paint, um, whatever you prefer. Um, in your kit, um, your sh wood plaque shape may be slightly different than the one we're using today. Um, so our next step then is to cut magazine strips. Um, I've cut some here already. Um, I'm suggesting you cut them in eighth inch to a quarter inch pieces. And I found it's easier to kind of fold your magazine pages after you tear them out of your magazine and um, just cut that way. They don't have to be straight. They don't have to be perfect as far as size. Um, we can overlap them if you choose. And you can also trim as we go along if you want. So you, you probably don't need a pile much more than what I have here. Um, just choose the colors that you prefer. You want to make your um, heart with. Um, I'm trying to choose more pinks and purples and light blues. So it's going to be for my granddaughter's room. So. And then the next step we're going to do is cut our heart out of our cardstock. And after that, um, let's give this a little, but it's not a big deal because we're going to trim the magazine strips off later. Okay, and move our woodpeck out of the way, and you should have your Mod container of Mod Podge ready. And what you do is, I found at home when I did my sample is I'm brushing it on in sections, laying the strips, watching the colors that I want, um, over the um, heart that's covered in Mod Podge, and then as I do my sections, go over it again with um, Mod Podge. So as I sample, I'm brushing the Mod Podge on a small section, And I'm going to lay my magazine strips. It's gonna um, 
lay over your heart. We'll, we're trimming those at a later time. And I want to watch the colors I'm choosing. I'm going to layer mine slightly. And you can see how it's coming along. Push another layer. And we're just going to continue that until our heart is completely covered and just work back through your bubbles um, as you go along. Okay, as you continue to work um, laying your magazine strips, like I've covered my heart now, I'm just going to do a thin layer over the top. If you've made any mistakes or you decide you didn't like something, instead of trying to rip off the magazine strip, just um, lay another magazine strip over the top of it. That'll work out just fine. And you can see your heart will tend to curl, and that's okay. And um, I'm just going to use my finger, this gets kind of messy, and just kind of smooth down some pieces that are bubbling up. And you're not going to want to lay this down on newspaper um, as you're working, and it gets a little difficult, but. You're going to want to hold it because it will stick and then you don't want to tear any of your strips before you know where you want to cut them. So let's just, there's one more little area here we get. And then we're going to let this dry for 10, 20 minutes. I'm just going to put it on top of a container, a vase, a glass. whatever works for you to dry. And then um, we'll come back and do another coat. Okay, so we are back um, after letting our, our magazine strip art dry for 20 minutes and we're gonna do another coat of Mod Podge. On top, it's gonna be a good um, thick coat and then um, we can let this dry for another 20 minutes and I'm just letting it set on top of the container um, but after um, yours has dried for another 20 minutes you can do another coat of Mod Podge it is on the directions to do an additional coat or um, if you feel that yours looks fine you can turn it over and you're going to trim the magazine strips um, around your heart shape. So I've trimmed mine out and you can touch up any little areas you might see. Mine looks pretty good so I'm just going to let this um, additional coat that I put on and smoothed out with my finger um, dry and then we will come back and um, my edges all look good if you have any that have been pulled up a little bit you can touch it up with a little bit of Mod Podge and then we will um, glue our heart on our board with the tacky glue Okay, so we are back after letting our final coat of Mod Podge dry. I ended up actually letting mine dry over the weekend. And um, what we're going to do now is tacky glue our heart magazine strip art to our wood plaque that you should have already prepared however you wanted. And I again painted mine um, white with acrylic paint. So we're going to apply our tacky glue, um, you have tacky glue provided in your kit to the back of our heart. And 
I am going to just use my foam brush that I rinsed out after using the Mod Podge and just make sure I get it to the edges. Before pressing it down firmly, make sure you have it, if you want yours centered. I went and bought a frame for mine. I was thinking about a shadow box, but I couldn't find one. So the so my board that I have right now is a 10 by 10. I bought a 12 by 12 um, cheap frame, and I'm going to um, insert my small plaque in that. But you could also set it, you know, on a shelf or apply a picture frame, um, hook on the back to hang on the wall, or find a shadow box or a frame like I did. However you want to use it. Um, keep applying your pressure till the edges start to really stick down and um, that would be the final steps of our magazine strip art craft. Thank you for joining us.